Yeah, Catherine Brittany Sheriff departments across the state charge a fee for a gun permit. Each county varies in price, but departments keep the money for things like equipment and trainings. But now many people worry that without people buying these permits, these departments are going to lose a big chunk of their funding. Now you still need a permit until the first of the new year, but the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department says they already saw less people buying pistol permits this year, likely in anticipation of not needing one here soon. The Walker County Sheriff's Department tells me they're already seeing 50% less money coming in a month from their gun permits and state legislator legislators anticipated this drop in funds. They included a $5 million grant program in the new law where departments that show a loss can get some help. Now the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department, their permit cost was on the lower end. It was only $7 and 50 cents a year, so they are not going to take as big of a hit as some of these other counties, but officials say they still don't think this grant money is going to be enough. We are going to be losing that funding that we received from the pistol permits. Uh, there is a, a, a state grant that's going to hopefully provide some of that back to us, but I don't think it will take care of all of it. Now, the Alabama County Commission Association officials report statewide gun permanent revenues are down about 30% overall across the state from last year. Now, some counties are experiencing a much more loss than that, and the grant funding is going to drop next year to only $2 million for the counties to split. Catherine.